Hey guys, today is going to be a super duper fun video because Best Buy Canada is graciously sponsoring this video and giving me $1,500 to buy anything I want and make the best possible holiday gift guide. And oh man, this is going to be really exciting because as a kid, I would find every single excuse to go to Best Buy and window shop. And now my dream has become a reality. Also, shout out to my G Judd from Your Average Consumer for inspiring this video. But anyways, let's go and do some shopping. Let's go. All right, so we're finally in the store now, and because our budget is $1,500, I think it's only fair if we make the time limit for this shopping challenge 15 minutes. So I have my timer set right over here, and let's begin. 15 minutes, let's go grab a cart. All right, all right. Okay, so first section I wanna hit up, the gaming section. So believe it or not, I have never owned a gaming console my entire life, and I'm not really a gamer, but you know, when I have friends over, it's honestly a little boring sometimes to like not have any games to play and only have to rely on like watching movies and TV shows. So, you know what, let's go and do this. All right, so we have three options, I honestly think. One option, PS5, PlayStation 5 Slim. This actually just came out, but at 650, that's gonna eat up like a third of our budget. So that's a little bit expensive. So um, I would love it, but another day. So I think our best two options are honestly the Nintendo Switch or the Xbox, which, now that I'm giving some thought about it, it's a hard decision, but the Nintendo, although it's great for family, there's a lot of like nostalgic Wii games and stuff, that's probably not my type of style. And I wanna play like the bigger games in the Xbox. So I think I'll go with that. And at $380 for the Xbox Series S, I think that's a really good deal. So wait, Series X is $600. Oh, that's a bit expensive too. I think I'll go for the Xbox Series S. And Right now, on the box, it actually says that it includes the Xbox Game Pass. So that's honestly one of the really good deals that puts the Xbox above the PlayStation for me because on the Xbox Game Pass, you get access to like hundreds and hundreds of games. So, and you'll need to pay like a monthly subscription. So that honestly might like be worth it in the long run. So I'm gonna go for the Xbox Series S and I'm super excited. All right, um, definitely gonna go white. I'm a white aesthetic guy. All right, got this in, let me close this. How much time do we have left? 13 minutes, okay, let's go. Go, go, go. Kitchen, kitchen, kitchen stuff. So I am a lover of cooking. I love cooking. So although I'm a student, I don't do any of those takeout or you know frozen food stuff. So cooking is definitely one of my bigger passions. So I wanna look for some stuff. Oh, there's one left actually. So this is a KitchenAid mini food chopper. I always really want to like puree my own sauces, you know, make pesto and stuff. So this is going on a list. And I think it says it's $50, not a bad deal. And one more thing, air fryer. I think that's one of the best like gifts to give a student. So I have one of my friends, he's actually going to university soon. So I think getting him an air fryer would do justice, would be good. So let's check some of these out. Oh, I love Ninja appliances, they're great. 100, oh, this one's not a bad deal actually. $110, save 140. Ooh, okay, so $100. It's save $140 right now, Black Friday top deal. And let me check. Damn, look at that, that's a big capacity. Okay, I think we'll go with this one. This one seems not bad. What about this one? Oh, this one's $50 more, nah. I think $100 is a sweet spot. So we'll get one of these and put this on the cart. Oh, luckily I got one of these big carts because this thing is huge. All right, so we got three things. So 380, so for about $400, 450, we're at 550 right now. So we have $1,000 left to spend. All right, let me check how much time I have. 11 minutes, okay. I think something I really want is headphones, actually. I've been using a pair of sound cores, and while they're really good value, I just want something more premium. I think I deserve it, so uh, let's see. So these are very popular. I've actually tried these a couple times. Like, these are obviously the most popular headphones you can buy, and a lot of people really like these. But for me, honestly, I have really big ears. I get made fun of it all the time on TikTok and Instagram. So when I actually put these on, because these cushions are a little more squishy, they're like really squishy, and all of the super light, they just aren't comfortable for my ears. Like, I just feel like my ear keeps hitting the inner, like, sick thing of this. So, yeah, it's not too comfortable for me. So. I think I have to find something else. The other premium option I should go for is definitely Bose, Bose headphones. So they have the new Quiet Comfort Ultra here. Oh, I never got to try these on before actually. These are quite expensive though. I think they're 550 bucks, I think, yeah. All right, let's put these on. Oh, put them on the wrong way. All right, I used to come to Best Buy all the time to do this. All right, yeah. These are definitely more comfortable for my big ears. And although some of the features might be newer on the XM5s, I think I will go for the older gen Bose 700s because they are cheaper at 
$380. That's a deal. All right, so it's because it's locked behind the bar, I'm gonna go ask a Best Buy employee to get that for me, and I'm gonna have to pause my timer. Ta-da! All right, thank you, Best Buy employee. We got the Bose headphones, and they only have one color left. I actually got the one I wanted. This is the white or gray, oh, Lux Silver. Luxurious Silver, I love these. These are gonna be super fun. And, um, oh, 10 bucks, look at that. That's a good deal. Honestly, it's always nice to have like a backup pair of earbuds. So like, especially cause like, oh, I'm the type of person to always leave the house and forget to charge my wireless earbuds. So these are gonna be a good backup. And I have a USB-C dongle for my iPhone already and it'll be good for the MacBook. So 10 bucks, I think it's a no brainer. And like, it's just a nice pair of backup. 10 bucks, no brainer. All right, nine minutes. Um, oh, ultimate ears. My friend actually had this for the longest time. We used to play this in high school in our hallways, just blast music during lunches. That was so fun. But I think because of our budget, wait, how much is this ready? So we got 400, so let's make this like count. So like, uh, like 750, 800, 810, okay, that doesn't count. 810, 900, so we have $600 left to spend. Okay, 600. Um, how much are these? Okay, okay, sounds good enough. The bass is bumpy, and what colors do they have? Um, I'll get one gray. 80 bucks, solid deal. I don't think we can afford any laptops or anything in the budget, so that might be unfortunate. That's amazing, look at that. $700, it's like a handheld PC. It's amazing, but man, this is so cool, isn't it? All right, so we have seven minutes left. Um, $600, seven minutes. Hey, we're doing good on time, actually, not bad, okay. So what else do I need to get? My mom, right, my mom, I'm gonna give her my old monitor. I'm gonna build her a desk setup. So she needs a keyboard and a mouse, oopsies. Um, Logitech, always a great option. So, hmm, do I have any combos here? Hmm, I feel like that would be better because it would make more sense to have one USB dongle to do everything in. Ergonomic cube, oh, 170. That's expensive, okay. Um, oh, nice. Slim mechanical combo, $50, save 20. Ooh, which one should I go for? Pebble or should I go for a slim combo? Hmm. So this one looks cuter. I like the cute look of this, but this one has a number pad and function row. So my mom, I think the number pad would do better. So I'm gonna get the number pad actually. And white, the last one left, hell yeah. So how much is that again? $50, or what, like $550 left? I think, I hope, all right. Um, how much time? Five minutes. Okay, five minutes. Um, Kindle, Kindle, Kindle. I really want a Kindle actually. So, where is that? Right over here, I think? Yeah, Kindle. So they have a bunch of Kindles actually. Oh, they're cheap, they're not bad. I think they have a, don't Kindle have a signature version, I think? Oh yeah, it's right over here. How much is that though? There's no demo over here. Best Buy app. Oh yeah, they have a ton of deals going on, Black Friday, so check out their app. There's a bunch of good stuff on there, but let me search up Kindle, Kindle. $160 for the paper white signature version. This one's 130. And there's a bigger screen. I think $30 is worth it. $30 worth it? Yeah, yeah, $30 worth it. Boom, magic. Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition. This is gonna be super good. Like, honestly, everyone is so like on their phones all the time. Like, people need to put their phone down and start reading, because knowledge is power. So, this is gonna be super useful. I wanted one forever. Okay, oh, we're doing good on time still. Four minutes, wait, how much have we spent? Um, we have spent, oh my God, I lost track already. So 500. 500, wait, I said we had 500 there. Kindle's 160, so we have $350 left to spend, I think, or 400? 400, let's say 400. Oh my God, where's the smart home section? Three minutes, okay, we gotta go, we gotta run. How much are they though? I need to go double check that. Nano leaf panels. They are 180, oh my God, 230, 200 bucks, 280. Hmm, I don't have a good design in mind yet, so maybe not. Uh, let's go in the next aisle. Oh, I actually wanted this for a long time. Smart Garden 9, how much is it? $180, save 80, Black Friday top deal. Look at that, Black Friday top deal, so yeah. Oh, and they have a lot of stuff I can grow. Strawberries, kale, lettuce, basil. Oh my God, I've always wanted to grow herbs in my house, so I think this would be really good. I love cooking again, so I'm gonna grab one of these. And we need two more things, two more things. Two minutes, two minutes, okay. Um, right, I need to get my little brother a bur um, Christmas gift. Okay, what does he do, what does he do, what does he do? He, he's in high school right now, he's actually in sports, okay? 
So, sports. What to do with sports? Oh, he's been begging me for a massage gun. Let's go get him a massage gun. Uh, massage gun. Massage gun. Oh, massage guns are right over there. Okay, 99. So, these two are $100. How much time do I have left? One minute. Okay. Uh, both $100. Small one versus big. Uh, oh, this one's very compact. I think a big one would be more powerful. Oh, wait. No, this one's actually $120 off. 80. Okay, this one's more worth it. Let's get one of these. Okay. And one more thing. We have like $100 left to spend. Okay, go, go, go. Let's get him a Fitbit. He doesn't have a smartwatch yet, so, and he's gonna break it, so I think I'm gonna get him a Fitbit. Um, Inspire 2, Inspire 3. Hmm. Which one's $100? Oh, perfect, right over here, 70 bucks. I think that's enough budget, 70 bucks. And, okay, I'm gonna go get a Best Buy employee, and I think we're under time, because there's 24 seconds left, and we, I think we completed our challenge. Let's do this. And boom, we got the final item, the Fitbit Inspire 2. I think my little brother's gonna like that a lot, so. Ah, timer's up. Let's go check out, and hopefully we're under budget. I don't, I don't think Best Buy will like not let me take this if I go over budget, right? Let's see, let's see. All right, checkout time. Moment of truth. Let's see if we hit 1500 or went over. I completely lost track already. So let's wait over here. All right. Moment of truth. Let's see if we can get $1,500. All right. Let's go. Thank you so much. All right, so the employee, she's getting a physical hard copy of the Xbox because these are locked away in the back over there because it's an empty box. But yeah, I can't see the total right now on the screen. So I'm hoping I don't go over $1,500. And that's before tax. Before tax sounds better. So yeah, okay. Whew. Nervous, nervous. Total's at, actually I can see it. The total's at $1,075 right now. And I have three more things to scan. So, or a couple more things actually. I think we're good actually. Feeling good, feeling good. All right, so the subtotal is coming over here. Let's look at the subtotal. Please be under 1500. 1612, oh no. Oh my God, 1612, it's over there. 1612. Oh man, okay, we gotta take one item off, one item over 100. Okay, uh, I think I keep these. Okay, one item. Ah. Uh, Hmm, is that of this one? Nah, this is for my little brother. I can't get that. Okay, I think I'll have to take the speaker away. Oh man, so sad. Okay, so I'm sorry. I have to take the speaker away. So sorry about that. And the subtotal is 1512. Okay, 1512. I'll pay the $12. We're under budget. Let's go. All right, that's good. And okay, we're gonna check out and we'll bring everything to the car and then we can finally unbox everything and make a video at home. All right, let's go. I think that was pretty successful, guys. That was a bit nerve wracking. Luckily, the 15 minute timer wasn't as much as I thought. So that was good. We got everything under 15 minutes and we only went $12 over budget. So I think that's a fair amount. And also shout out to my G over here, Destiny. We do a ton of videos together on the channel. So thank him for being an amazing cameraman. Thank you so much. All right, now let's put this in the car and let's go home. Hell yeah. Oh. All right, we're finally done our shopping challenge at Best Buy Canada in Kingston, Ontario. And thank you so much, all the staff members, for being amazing, inviting, and super duper friendly. And also all the people who stopped by to say hi. Oh, that was great. But yeah, let's get home so we can talk about all these gift products because I think I honestly chose some solid products. So let me know down below. But yeah, let's go home. I'm freezing and let's go. Whoosh. All right, we're home with everything we bought from the shopping hall, and let's go over what I managed to get with $1,500 before tax at Best Buy Canada. I actually think I got some really dope gifts for this holiday gift guide, and I hope you guys can find some inspiration from it. I'll leave all the product links down below as well, and feel free to let me know if you guys have any questions about any product as well. All right, let's talk about the stuff we got in, starting from the cheapest items, and work our way up. Also, please hit that like and subscribe button if you're enjoying the video so far, because it really, really helps us channel out and this channel is my biggest dream. Okay, first up, we got the cheapest item here, these Sony earbuds that are only 10 bucks. If you just need a quick cheap gift for a classroom secret Santa or for anyone in need of audio, these earbuds get the job.
job done by being compact and comfortable in the ears. And they also include two other ear tip sizes in the box for you to find your perfect fit. They actually sound pretty decent and better than you think and are seriously a lifesaver if your wireless earbuds die, which admittedly happens way too much to me than I would like to admit. Next up is for my mom, a $50 keyboard and mouse combo from Logitech, which will really help her in her home office. These desk peripherals really help ergonomically and they just look so clean and minimal too. I love that the mouse is actually fitted with silent switches so you don't hear those annoying clicks late in the night and even the keyboard is silent too which is very cool. The best part is that it uses one 2.4 GHz USB nano receiver for both peripherals and the included battery gives you 36 months for the keyboard and 18 months for the mouse which is amazing. Switching it up, we got this mini food processor from KitchenAid which I've been wanting for the longest time since I love cooking. It barely takes up any space, which is great for my crowded countertops, and I absolutely love the genius wraparound cord storage. There's actually two modes to allow you to chop or puree anything you want, and I just love making sauces in this thing. There's also a super useful drizzle basin to easily incorporate liquids like olive oil for emulsifying. And on the topic of kitchen appliances, something seriously game-changing for any family or especially students is an air fryer. This Bella Pro air fryer is on sale from 240 to 100 bucks, which is an incredible deal, and you get this huge 7.6 liter capacity to cook anything you want. There's a touch screen for all your controls and so many presets to choose from, it makes cooking so easy. Best of all, it's actually really easy to clean the baking tray since it's dishwasher safe for lazy people like me. And to help you with creating delicious dishes, the Click and Grow Smart Garden 9 is something I've had in my wish list for the longest time. The setup is actually really simple too, as you just attach the arms on the side of the garden, put the little soil capsules with seeds already in them, attach the covers and the insulating dome, fill up the water tank so that you can use it for weeks, and then attach the lights that you plug into the wall. And boom, you have your own indoor garden that can grow any Thing you want. They even include the lettuce, tomato, and basil capsules in the box so you can start growing right away. Alright, I got some good pickups for gym bros now. First, this is the Fitbit Inspire 2 that's actually a really great budget tracker for 70 bucks. There's actually an awesome app that breaks down a whole list of metrics for you to geek over and I love that they include an entire year of Fitbit Premium so you can take advantage of those extra features. The Fitbit itself is also super slim and comfortable too without irritating your wrist and it has a whopping 10 days of battery life which is so much better than a smartwatch. The included USB charging adapter lets you recharge in 2 hours too but another great feature is the AFib tracking which which is really great for the elderly and useful for me, a tile integration since I lose things very easily. And carrying over the gym theme, we got this EZX massage gun which is such a great deal for $99 since the original price was $220. First of all, the carbon fiber looks absolutely sick and I love the long grip for easily handling. There's also 30 different speed settings so you can control it to what you want, 6 different attachments to hit every sore spot in your body, and it's just been so useful especially after a long gym session. There's actually even an included carrying pouch to contain everything which I really appreciate. Alright, now we get to the more expensive gifts for someone you truly care about. My personal favorite gift and what I've always wanted for the longest time is the Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition. People are just doom scrolling on their phones too much these days so it's important to pick up a book from time to time because after all, knowledge is power. It's so convenient to use the Kindle in the car or bus or you're getting ready to sleep or if you're like me and get bored of doing homework and procrastinate instead. The battery literally lasts forever too and I'm just so happy it uses USB-C, not micro USB. You know what else makes me happy? New headphones and I've actually never owned a premium pair of ANC headphones before so I'm super excited to use these Bose 700 noise cancelling headphones. They look absolutely beautiful in the silver color and the ear cuffs actually fit my big ears without crumpling them. They also sound pretty decent as well with a pretty clean sound signature but where it's mind blowing is the noise cancelling which you can dial in your levels in the Bose app. The microphones are also excellent for phone calls and if you're coming from any sort of wireless earbuds, these will make a significant difference. And last but not least, a gaming console which is the first I'll ever own as I was too poor as a kid to afford one. And luckily, this Xbox Series S is an absolutely incredible deal for 320 bucks, which makes it the best bang for the buck console in my opinion. And despite the price tag, it performs really well at 1440p and can't even be upscaled to 4K while looking 
super clean. I'm really into Formula 1, so connecting a racing wheel makes for a great budget racing simulator without breaking the bank. There's also three months of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate included, so you actually get access to hundreds of games right from setup. I'm just in love with the Xbox Series S, which looks so beautiful in white, and it's actually so small that I think you can actually bring it on trips, which is really cool. But yeah, that's it for all the gifts I picked up for $1,500 before tax, and I think I actually got a really good haul, so I'm pretty happy with the decisions I made during that 15 minutes. And of course, a huge shout out and a massive thank you to Best Buy Canada for making this video possible. And it was just so fun making this video. All the product links are down below for you guys. And feel free to let me know if you have any questions about any products. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to smash the like and subscribe button and check out my other awesome content on the channel. Have a great one and I'll see you guys in the next one. And happy holidays as well.